Hey everyone. As you can see and probably hear, it's very, very windy. But I'm up here at the cabin and my goal for today is to finish up the firewood rack. Um, I don't have much left to go. If you watched uh, my previous video or two, I think I did on this, I was almost done. Um, yeah, there it is. And all I have left to do here is um, I needed five more two by fours to finish off the floor there. Um, so I got those and I got, I actually got an extra two by four. Oh, um, that I don't know if you can see, but I have one going across back there that I kind of used for support for that vertical beam. Um, I don't know, I think I'm going to put a two by four across here and then also across here to kind of line up with that one I have in the back and I think it'll finish it off a little bit better. So that two by four will come up and come across here. Yeah, that's my plan for today. So I'm gonna go cut these five boards. It shouldn't take long, get them zipped in. Uh, then I gotta measure these two side boards and cut those and then I will be done. And I might even uh, chop some wood today and get this, get it filled up a little bit. We'll be back here in a, in a few. Well, I got all the boards cut, the two side pieces and the five floor pieces. It's not too often that I actually uh, do things right, but. <laughs> so I, I brought the wrong screws for these, um, these side pieces. I only have nine by three and an eighth, which is too long and I have nine by twos. So I'm gonna use the nine by twos just to tack them in and then I need like nine by two and a half or nine by threes. So I'll replace them next trip. And then on the floor, I don't know if you'll be able to see. Um, see that pretty good size gap there? When I lined these up, uh, I lined up 13 two by fours and that's how I decided how big to make the base. But now that I lay um, different two by fours down there, I should have known better. Um, you know, there's a little variance in these two by fours, but there's enough that it's almost an inch gap in there. So I'm going to have to try to space these out just a teeny bit for each one, just to kind of looks even. Um, and I don't even mind the spacing. They would, once these dry out, these pressure treated, uh, the pressure, pressure treated lumber, once it dries out, there'd be spaces in here anyways. Um, but now there's going to be a a little bit wider spacing, but that's all right. Just the debris can fall down through. So yeah, I'm getting there. I'm gonna zip these in. My battery's probably gonna die in my screwdriver, but I'll have to, I'm gonna go start charging the other one just uh, in case. And I should be done here in a few minutes. So it turns out I'm even dumber than I originally thought. Um, apparently I've been using this to store staples and random nails and there's actually not even nine by two inch screws in here. Huh. So I'll still tack them in with the longer ones. I just won't drive them in the whole way. Those two side pieces. And then again, <laughs> replace them next time I'm up. What a dummy. All right, I took a little uh, lunch break and got the crock pot going for dinner. I'll have a late dinner, but the firewood rack is done. Finally, took long enough. <laughs> Except for, I don't know if you watched the last video, but I'm gonna put like a face plate and I'm going to, uh, I have a Dremel or, I think that'll work. I don't know if I need to buy a router, but I think a Dremel will work. And I wanna put uh, the camp name in that faceplate. So that might be a winter project. But it's all done. I'm pretty happy with it.
Definitely should hold enough wood for what I burn. I don't burn a, a ton of wood up here. Um, I haven't got s'mores that come out. What are you eating? Acorns? No. Nope. I don't know what you're eating, silly dog. All right. I don't know if you remember, um, I think last year I, I built this little firewood rack, which I had up on the deck. Um, but that firewood still gets wet and it actually leaves a pretty decent mess on the deck. Plus you're not supposed to have firewood right close to the cabin because I think there might be chipmunks and mice in there in the winter and then they might try to get into the, to the cabin. So anyways, I decided to put this little rack um, inside here. And that's just gonna be for the, the real tiny kindling that I use to start the fires. And then the bigger stuff, I'll just, I'll just stack up in here. I got this, which you might've seen before. It's called a kindling cracker. And you basically put the little logs up on top and you hit them with a sledgehammer and uh, it splits the wood. So this is perfect for like the little small pieces that I need. So I'm gonna go chop some firewood uh, for the new firewood rack. I may even start an outside fire. Just while I'm working, get a fire going. All right, I think I'm gonna do the fire first and then go chop some wood. Seems like fires start so much easier in the fall. I mean, that caught in like two seconds. If it was like in the summer, it would take me 20 minutes to get a fire going. <laughs> Man, it's kicking off the heat too. All right. Let me get the old kindling cracker. I'm just going to chop some of the smaller stuff I have just to get some uh, some fresh wood in the new firewood rack. Drop the sledge. Yeah, I got a few smaller pieces that will fit in here, but I definitely need to bring my log splitter up. I need my chainsaw to cut some of this stuff I have laying around. version of this because even this is a small piece here and it probably won't even fit I think this one will nope yeah I need to get the bigger one hmm I don't know if I have any wood that will even fit in there I don't think I do I might have split it all hmm all right I'm gonna have to Chop some of this down a little bit smaller first. See if this little uh, sledge maul here will work. Guess so. Still too big. <laughs> do. Nope. I 
guess I can just split it. This thing's cool where you can get it like real small. Yeah, I use these little tiny pieces just for a starter in the wood stove. All right, I won't bore you with that, but I'm gonna I'm gonna chop up a couple couple loads, carry over, and put in the firewood rack. I think I got this overloaded. Let's see if I can get it all in one one trip over. I don't think so. Maybe. I lost a piece. I don't know how I'm going to stack this or where. Uh, figure that out here. Hmm. All right, I'm going to get to stacking. Now that I think about it, I've never actually had a firewood rack like this. I always had like, at home at least, a little like metal rack that held like one row deep. But this, I'm not quite sure how to stack wood in one of these. I don't know if I'm supposed to build like, I don't know, like little uh, rows for them to <laughs> sit in so they don't fall over. I'm tempted to build like a holes housing, like a honeycomb stack in here. I might actually do that. Um, <laughs> like I built over next to the cabin, I built, well, I built one of them and I started a second one and then I decided to build this, but I might actually do that. I think there's enough room. If I did like a four foot diameter one. Um, yeah, we'll see. I think I'm going to wrap it up here. I'm just going to chop some more wood and uh, decide how I want to stack it, the best way to stack it and easy to get to. Um, I feel like I, if I stack it like from here, just that deep, I'll never use the stuff in the back. Um, so I might stack it this way and then I can walk in and be easier to get to. Anyone? Leave me a comment. How do you stack stack your firewood? <laughs> well, that's going to do it for the firewood rack. Finally finished it. And uh, I'm going to wrap up this video, chop a little bit more wood, and mess around a little bit and hang out by the fire. So thank you all for watching, and we'll see you soon.